Good morning. Another week, another vlog. Um, we had a really good weekend. Um, I hope all of you did too. It was just a lot of overwatch <laughs> and um, relaxing. I did some knitting. Um, I finished, I don't know where he is. I finished the pants for, for Henry. And I started the shirt. Her birthday is Friday. Um, and honestly, the only knitting I have left to do is the shirt. The problem is, here's the start of the shirt. Just low contrast. Um, stripes. The problem is the shirt is done from the bottom up and then I'm pretty sure you have to do decreases in for raglan and then I'm gonna have to add the sleeves on. I've never done that before. My brain understands mostly how to do it but uh, I don't want to. I also have to do his face applique. I have pieces of felt I need to cut out two, three, three teardrop diamond type shapes, um, and then the circle for his eye, and something for his nose. I actually, maybe the nose is embroidered on. I had a lot of new charms go into the shop this weekend, as well as new earrings. Um, the no metal plastic post, mainly plastic hook earrings uh, have gone into the shop. There are a couple options for the plastic posts, however, the plastic posts did not adhere with even the A6000 glue that I usually use. They came off really easy whenever I tried to... Now, I didn't let them cure all the way, and that could be why that they came off really easy when I tried to wear them, like they felt dry, but they need like 24 to 72 hours to cure completely. That could be why, but um, I think what I'm going to have to start doing, because I know that E6000 doesn't always adhere to all plastics super well. I think I'm gonna top it with like the diamond resin glaze. It's not resin, I don't like resin. I don't like how it smells. I have a really hard time with resin. Like whenever it's curing, I've tried it a couple times. I just hate it. I hate the smell of resin. It makes me feel sick. So uh, I use this diamond glaze, which is a water-based, hard adhesive, dimensional glaze. Um, it's what I use on like my jewelry items cats are fighting. Adam is streaming, if you can hear him in the background. I think that will work. Um, like I said, I have someone... Oh, speaking of earrings, I'm wearing some... Can you see? I'm wearing the uh, floral mint record. Um, I think we're going to the bank today, so I just decided to put on dangly earrings. But I also have some stuff to show you guys, so hang on. I brought a little box of my favorite charms from this weekend out. I did embroidery, clay embroidery hoop charms. Look how cute! I don't know if you can tell um, in the camera, but the there's like texture on the, the base. So the, there's toadstools, there's roses, there's little sheep. Pine trees, which these are one of my favorites. And my least favorite is the rainbow, but it's still cute. It's just not probably a pattern I would like to repeat. But yeah, I think these turned out so cute. Aren't they beautiful? So all of those need to go in my um, little box today. But I wanted, I left them out because I wanted to show them to you guys because I think they're so sweet. They just make me think over there, I don't know, I know that you've seen it, but if you can see there's little embroidery, teeny tiny embroidery hoops over there on the wall and that's what inspired these. I just think they are absolutely beautiful. I love them. My prints also came in. I'm so excited about these. Look at them, isn't it beautiful? The colors are so rich and gorgeous. And the sketchy hands. I'm so happy with these. I hope you guys love them when you receive them. 
So today is actually mostly an art day. Um, I have several commissions I need to work on. I have a watercolor gouache commission um, that I need to get going on. I have three digital uh, PNG commissions that I need to get going on. Oh, and I need to place an order. Another wood charm wholesale. Um, which if you guys are ever interested in that just send me a message um, wholesale spots are always open for my wood art charms and I also have new charms planned a new design planned for the wood charms just a second I'll grab my iPad and show you a little it's gonna be washed out but I am so excited there that looks a little better much better So this is the, I don't know, fourth Plague Doctor um, design I've done. I also did it in hot pink. I don't know why, I just did. I am not ordering this one right away. It's it's more hot pink than it was showing. Um, and then I'm going to do stickers that say, bring me your sick. I would like for it to not be quite so washed out. I don't think I can, I don't think I can fix it. There. Ooh. Yeah, I know I have a little battery. I'm gonna get those and then I have a, I also show you guys this one. Even though I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with it, I just really liked it. I did um, Artemis, but I did her as, oh boy. No, it is not, is it? There we go. I did her as a veiled bride. I love her. But I don't really know what what to do with her. She was kind of just something fun that I did. But yeah, I need to place an order for wood charms for the wholesale, the plague doctor uh, wood charms, and then the sticker. Um, so I need to do that today, and then work on my art commissions and ship a few orders. Peepa, what you doing? Peep peep. Ugh, so this is why I don't film while I'm at the um, my sculpting table because there's nowhere to put the camera. All I have is like this little, um, it has three legs. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. It has three legs and uh, it just like sits on a table, but it doesn't sit up straight. It has to be completely flattened out. But anyway, I am working on, can you see them? Mushrooms, snails, mushroom moons. I can't see them at all. I'll do a close up in a minute. I got a bunch of new cutters. Um, they were supposed to come yesterday, but they didn't. But then they arrived today. I don't know. I said last week the mail has been weird. It has definitely been weird. But see, this is the bigger cutter of the little mushroom guys. And I also have a smaller one. Um, let's see. Where's my snail? I have these really big mushrooms. Um, I kind of hoped this one would be small enough to use as a charm, but it is not unless... I don't know, even people I feel like who'd be like, oh, I don't mind a bigger charm. It's pretty big. It's it's pretty big. Uh, where's my snail? Oh, it's black. That's why I can never see it because all the other ones are like granite. But this is the snail. And I really like, I really like snails, um, as you guys probably know. So these are going to be pins. These are going to be pins, statement earrings. So they'll be like this big which is too big for me, but I know a lot of people, I don't know, it's not, it's not too big. Um, and these also will be statement earrings. I don't carry very many big earrings in my shop, um, but I'm hoping to kind of change that. Some moons. Hmm. So this one is going to be pins and needle minders. Um, and this one I think is a good size for earrings oh yes I like that for earrings and maybe even like maybe I could put this on like a hair clip or something I think that'd be really pretty wearing mushrooms in your hair so yeah I'm really excited about all these guys I have so so many cutters coming 
because I really love using cutters. Um, it's just, it's really fun and it seems to kind of take some stress away from the whole like sculpting process to just have a base to start on. So um, I've been experimenting with a lot of cutters, but uh, I didn't film any more yesterday and now it is two o'clock in the afternoon. It is, it's just been a real sleepy, week. Yesterday we went to the bank and to the store so I just didn't have the energy to vlog and I didn't really work that much when I got home. I think I shipped some packages. So that was it. So I'm going to keep sculpting on these. Try to plan out my update. It might be like a like a fungus woodland update this week. I feel like I was pretty random last week and maybe it would be nice to have a theme this week. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited for all of the new cutters coming in and uh, to use them. I'm going to try filming while I sculpt, but I really don't like filming while I sculpt. I just feel like it doesn't ever look good. So we're going to give it a try because I know you guys really like seeing the sculpting process. Um, but see, like I'm already out of shot, which is annoying. I always feel like I take so much longer when I'm sculpting with the camera on. And see, it's not even focused. It's not even focused. It's just focused on the tongue on my shirt. Okay, we'll speed it up and see if I can't get some good shots for you guys. Mm -hmm. 